Everyone, this is Rich from the Rich Maxwell channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, this channel is about drones and photography. So please consider subscribing, maybe like the video if you find the content useful and join me again for more videos. Always doing tutorials on here, product reviews and general hints and tips for flying drones and taking cool images with your cameras. So this video, I'm gonna be talking about a recent purchase of mine, a graphics tablet. So this is a pen tablet to uh, help you edit photos a bit more precisely in Photoshop. So this one, it's a sort of budget Chinese brand called Veek. The uh, market leader in graphics tablets is a company called Wacom. Um, so this Veek tablet is like a cheaper sort of budget version. I just bought a cheap version because I haven't used a, a pen graphics tablet before. So this is all new to me and I just wanted a, a cheap option just to try it out and see if it's going to be helpful for, for what I do in Photoshop. And um, uh, yeah, maybe at some point in the future I'll consider upgrading but anyway wanted to just talk about this product because so far I found it superb this uh, this Veek graphics tablet so this is the a50 pen tablet so it comes in this box as you can see uh, you'll see the sticker there from Amazon warehouse so I got this from Amazon warehouse I think it was used like new for about 30 35 quid so it's pretty cheap I think the usual retail price is about 55 60 quid and even at that price I think it's an absolute bargain to be honest as um, the Wacom equivalent is well over 100 pounds I think they've got several different tablets out the Wacom in the Wacom range um, but this seems to cover most of the features that the Wacom tablets do it does things like pressure sensitivities it's got a little touchpad that you can use to zoom in and out quickly in Photoshop which I find quite helpful there's eight buttons on the side here that you can set any sort of shortcut you can think of to so I've just got um, like an undo and redo buttons selected there uh, well set up there and then I've got an option to change between black and white brushes on Photoshop just to make things really quick and easy when I'm doing things like masking or or dodging and burning on uh, an image the, the tablet itself is a good size as you can see this is the a50 so it's I think the larger one I think there's something like an a30 as well uh, it claims to have 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity a 5080 LPI resolution I don't know what that means and a 250 PPS report rate. Again, don't know what that means, but all sounds good and it seems to work really well. So uh, setting up the tablet, it's pretty simple. You uh, you obviously plug it in, USB-C, and then the uh, box tells you where to download the drivers from. And the drivers themselves are pretty cool. They uh, let you set up all your shortcuts and set up the pressure sensitivity. So you can set it to your liking so that you're not maybe having to, to push really hard where you feel like you're almost breaking the tablet to get a 100% uh, pressure uh, on uh, an image when, you, when you're editing. Um, but yeah, yeah, the tablet though, the reason I bought it was that I've been learning Photoshop recently, uh, watching a lot of tutorials about Photoshop and a lot of the people that I watch, like YouTube channels such as Pixinperfect, the guy in there, he uses a, a pen tablet for his edits and it enables you to just be a lot more precise than with a mouse. Uh, for example, if you try to sign your name uh, with the mouse, you find it pretty difficult compared to just using a pen, it's just much more natural using a, a pen like this. And so when you're masking or, or trying to uh, sort of draw around uh, and get quite a pr precise selection in Photoshop, it can be really useful using a pen. And again, using the brush tool that enables you to adjust the sensitivity based on how hard you press. So that can be really useful. And as a great when you're doing dodging and burning, uh, means that you don't have to just keep constantly changing your, your brush settings with your mouse. And in Photoshop, it's all really well set up to do the pressure sensitivity as there's just a, a little button next to things like opacity and flow rate that you click on to say that you want the pressure uh, with your pen to change that particular setting. So really helpful for photography. And so far I found this Vic tablet works really well. It's been very reliable, works really good. Um, I've had no sort of glitches or anything break with it. Uh, so really pleased with it. So over to the computer now. I'm just gonna show you a few examples of things that, that I do with this, uh, this pen tablet. So here we are in Photoshop then. I've just set up a uh, color fill 50% gray uh, on top of this image so that we can do some dodging and burning. So uh, 
Uh, you, you might be familiar with this sort of technique. You have a, a gray image, you put it on with a soft light, and then you just basically color it in black and white to do your dodging and burning. So as I said, the tablet, I've set the shortcut so I can switch between black and white. So black is obviously gonna darken bits of the image, white will make it lighter. And so as you can see, the, uh, the brush here is set to have the pressure sensitivity on opacity. Um, so the harder I push, the, the more um, higher the, the, the opacity will be. So the more, more sort of solid that adjustment will be. So I could just lightly touch it on it, or I can really push down hard, and then it's gonna go higher opacity levels. And so you set that just by pressing that button up there. So without that selected, then it's just gonna do the opacity at 72%, whatever pressure I apply. But if I press that button there, then that's gonna change the pressure sensitivity. So it just gives me the freedom to have a, a bit more accuracy. And the uh, the brush, obviously, if we change it to this sort of size, we can go really, uh, really sort of fine with adjustments on an image like this. So we can get the tree branches, a lot more accurately and uh, a lot more quickly than we would be able to with uh, a mouse. So it's really cool. It's like um, it gives a really good feel to to editing having a, a pen tablet like this. It, it means you can, you know, like I say, just be more precise with your uh, adjustments. You can really get into those little intricate spots that you want to hit, maybe to to lighten up or um, if you're making a selection then uh, you, you, you might be able to just be a bit more precise in your outlines of things. Um, so I've been really pleased with the, um, the tablet. I must say it takes a bit of getting used to compared to using a mouse. It feels really strange at first, but within, I would say, about a week, I was up and running with it really well and, uh, and, and able to, to use it, certainly to edit images like this really quickly and it's more efficient as I say than using a mouse because with a mouse here you, you, you might not get things right as uh, and as accurately first time so compared to the mouse like I said the mouse is not going to have any pressure sensitivity it's either on or off so I'm using the mouse now and as you can see it's it's just not going to be as subtle as there's no way to uh, adjust the sensitivity unless you want to go up here and then change your, your brush size your opacity rather than brush size um, but yeah, the tablet, as I say, really helpful. It has two buttons on the side as well here. So they enable you to, well, just set up shortcuts for them. I think I've got one of them selected as the right click. And so that can enable me to just quickly change my brush size. Uh, or you could set it up to maybe, you know, do a undo, or you might want to set it to change between black and white colors like I've set on the um, one of the eight buttons here. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend looking into a, a graphics tablet if you want to do a lot of editing in Photoshop and really take things to the next level in terms of your uh, your image editing. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, the Veek tablet I'll link in the description on Amazon. Uh, I've got a US and a UK link there. There are of course affiliate links, so if you buy through that, it does help my little channel out and uh, makes me a bit of money, costs you no extra. So please do consider buying through the links just to, to help support me. Um, and um, yeah, just help keep me going in this YouTube world. So I hope you like the video. Please give it a like, subscribe, and watch out for more content soon. Bye for now, everyone. Hope you all have a great day.